It was 2014. I just got into college and I was an aggressive kid back then. I took on many responsibilities like I joined the journalism club. Uh, I, I took a ton of online courses, MOOCs. Um, I got into a um, not bad university called Shida, uh, but it's not the best. It's it's quite it's quite okay, but it's not the best, and it's not quite uh, what I had uh, wanted. So I thought I would be extra. I, I will work extra hard to compensate that, and then I took. Uh, Taidas, which is the number one school in Taiwan um, online courses. And then I took Harvard's CS50 online courses to learn programming. And then during the final project, I made a um, course rating system for the entire school, which uh, uh, some other team then stole my idea and made it a uh, entire business out of it which i'm fr fine actually because i stopped that project pretty soon afterwards and 2015 uh, 2014 was an aggressive year i didn't have much time to think i just keep rushing 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 i, I remember i used to say a lot of, of of this this phrase called um, I used to say this a lot. I used to say this is a waste of time. When when someone asks me to go have a drink, I say this is a waste of time. When someone asks me to go hang out, I, I say this is a waste of time. I used to be that guy. I used to be so uh, diligent and so focused on getting productive and workaholic and that was pretty much it for my 2014 and I guess I will continue with the years later then comes 2015 2015 was a rough year um I did I changed I did a lot of thinking during the start of the year and I realized that I wasn't content with the school I was in. I want to go to Taida instead of Shida. So I wanted to take the transfer exam. So I started to prepare um for the transfer exam. I also decided to change my major, which was design back then, and I wanted to go into um, um, psychology. And at the same time, I was preparing for the transfer exam. My mom also told me I could prepare. My mom actually encouraged me to apply for uh, American school. So I, I started preparing for that too. I started studying for TOEFL and trying to build my portfolio and whatnot. But then I, I in the end, that was the, so um, in the end, I. I felt either. I didn't actually show up to the test transfer exam because I realized that I actually didn't study that much um, and I wouldn't be able to get in anyway. And for the American school thing, I applied to three schools and I got accepted to one of them. But then my mom said we didn't have the enough money to go to, to, to send me. And 
my heart was broken. My 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 dream was shattered, because growing up, uh, my mom has always uh, encouraged me to go to United States to study for uh, higher education. So that was my major. That was a major blow to me, and sent me sent me into a quite a deep spiral depression. And I guess that was. Oh, another thing is, during the lower half of the 2015, I met, I would say, the first、uh, romantic. I had the first romantic relationship with a Chinese、uh, exchange student.、Um, We went on quite several dates and had a pretty good time.、Um, we still and when she, she when she left, we just we just、uh, stopped seeing each other.、Um, That was quite an eye-opening experience because growing up, romantic romance romance has always been frustrating to me. So that was kind of the first success for me as far as the romantic、uh, relationship goes. So which boost me, which boosted my confidence a lot, and ended up.、Um, Helping my next relationship, and I guess ah, and we still stay stay in touch sometimes. And she's in another country right now,、uh, doing just fine on her own.、Um, I'm glad we shared that experience. I'm glad I've met her, and I guess that was it for 2015. Twenty sixteen is another story.、Um, I very soon into the twenty sixteen,、uh, after my ambitions and all my hopes and dreams are shattered, my worldview become very nihilistic. So I didn't know what I was wanting to do. But then another girl、uh, walked into my life, which is、uh, who is、uh, who was、uh, another exchange student from China, and we I, I think I we started dating、uh, immediately after like the first week of school, and it was honestly. One of the best time of my life, I would I I would say,、uh, it was one of the most、uh, memorable time of my life too.、Um, we spent a lot of time together, and we did a lot of things that I've never done before, and I don't know. I just had a deeper connection with、uh, another human being. And then,、uh, and then she broke her leg. And then, even sh- after she broke her leg, I pushed her on the wheelchair to travel around the country to go to all the all the places to sightsee. So that was quite quite an unforgettable experience. And. That relationship would affect me down the road for many years to come, because when she left in 2016,、uh, we kind of had a misunderstanding.、Uh, because from what I understood, we were going to stay together as as a long term relationship. But then, a、uh, couple years later, I will realize that it was never her intention. 
But nevertheless, in 2016, the, the lower half of 2016, I signed up a course in Taida, uh, which is a verification course taught by my mentor. And uh, which started my journey on the on the on the on the course of this uh, discipline. Uh, I immediately fell in love with the with the course material because I really in, enjoy how he taught the courses and the course itself. So when in the end at the end of the cl class uh, he asked me if I wanted to go work with him as a research assistant I immediately say yes so I guess that was 2016 oh another thing is I uh, when the girl I was seeing in 2016 went back to Beijing I also went went to Beijing to see her uh, I, so I took a trip I went to Be I went to New York for 20 days to uh, see all the things that I always wanted to see to experience uh, everything that people were talking about uh, and then I went to Beijing to reunite with her for a couple more days and I guess that was it there, there wasn't not, um, I guess you could say after uh, my dream to go to United States to study psychology was shattered uh, it was a temporary period where I was uh, enjoying myself in a romantic relationship and then immediately after that I found another life goal which is to uh, study formal verification and to go down the path of uh, maybe one day obtaining a PhD so that was my uh, life, that was my newfound life goal back then so that was 2015. Oh, sorry, that was 2016. So in 2017, I formally joined the institute to in the Information Science Institute to work on formal verification. My first project was to work on uh, program synthesis, which I I've done jack shit for nothing I didn't uh, I, I, I didn't get any result but I did pivot to another subject which is called message sequence charge message sequence chart uh, synthesis which I've done some non-trivial work and had some results but which but it was never published um, Hopefully, I could get it published one day, but I doubt it will happen. And then, that was pretty much uh, everything I did in 2017 in terms of formal verification. But during 2017, I was still hung up on my dream to go into psychology. So I also attended kind of like sit in set in uh, in another professor's uh, new neuroscience uh, laboratory uh, and trying to find some topics to do with him but in the end uh, I just really didn't have that much time and I took so many courses uh, during 2017 because I skipped a lot of courses uh, during my year of uh, during my uh, sophomore year because of uh, my plan to transfer and my plan to 
uh, go to the United States. So anyway, I was uh, pick, picking up on slacks, so to speak. So that was 2017, I guess. Uh, personally, uh, another thing that happened was um, I started to I started to I think hang out with people outside of my immediate social circle. I I I started a group. I I I actually uh, joined uh, another gr- uh, club as the vice president, which I I joined the the um, uh, information science club, which helped me uh, get to meet meet some more people, which is fun for me to have some more social stimulation. And over the course of uh, this year of 2017, I always, I had always held on to the belief that uh, we, I and my, uh, the, the, the exchange student I mentioned last year were st- still together and uh, we, we would uh, call almost every day and message each other about everything. So I think you could say that uh, in, in a sense she let me on, but I let myself on, to be honest. So that was 2017, I guess. And then comes 2018. Um, 2018 was a very, very rough year for me. I switched subject from uh, the synthesis thing uh, to work on privacy topics uh, in collaboration with another institute in our campus. And I got some um, milestone success, but and I did a presentation uh, uh, in their in in a in, uh, in their institute, but that was pretty much it. Uh, because after the summer of twenty eighteen, everything will fall apart. In the summer of twenty eighteen, I went to Sichuan, which is where the girl from before resided back then and I discovered that she has been seeing other people all this time behind my back while uh, keeping up the front of uh, being in a one-to-one relationship with me so which shattered my heart and sent me into a incredible, incredible uh, depression downward spiral. And the bottom half of 2018 was almost can be described as completely blank because I didn't know what to think. I didn't know what to do. Every day feel like, uh, uh, every day feel like suffering for just breathing, and only towards the very end of the of the year, my psychiatrist uh, suggested that I see a. Uh, okay, the reason I didn't see a therapist sooner is because I couldn't afford it and towards the end of the year my psychiatrist uh, suggested that she has a friend who is in 
who is doing inter um, therapist work and could, would charge me very much, very le very little for for therapy, and so I went. And only then I started to getting bet. I started to get better. Um, so in 2018, I form. I I guess you could say I semi formally started therapy, and that therapy helped me to at least stay alive. It didn't. It didn't. It didn't work magic. But it at least kept me going for uh, some more time, and I guess that was twenty eighteen, right? And then it was twenty nineteen. Therapy started to have a, a major effect on me. I got a lot better, and. Um, therapy started to do a lot of things for me. I got a lot of be a lot better from doing therapy, and I started working extra hard to try to um, graduate in time because. I was supposed to graduate in the summer of 2018, but because I skipped a lot of classes uh, when I when I choose to uh, skip when when I was trying to go to the United States or transfer, uh, so I had to stay an extra year. So during 2019, and I I started extra hard to try to pass all those classes. And after twenty, after graduating in twenty nineteen, I immediately joined uh, the institute as a formal employee to continue uh, start to continue working on uh, verification. But this time, uh, we decided to work on hardware verification. So I started to survey. Uh, I started to working on. I started to work on um, a lot of hard problems, like very very hard problems, both algorithmic wise and programming wise. And 2019 was a very busy year for me. I guess you could say that. I devoted like 99% of my time to. To my job, to my school, and to my work, and that was 2019. And then it was 2020, and everybody remember what happened in 2020. COVID happened, and it hit me as it hit everybody. Uh, it sent everybody home for work, and I function not. I couldn't quite uh, find my rhythm to work at home in the beginning, so it hit me quite hard. I spent all day playing games and not doing any work. I played a shit ton of Monster Hunter World. I even started to speed run it and got quite a good record but anyway um, I almost pretty much exclusively um, um, wasted all my time on games or shows or things that are unproductive uh, in 2020 and I was pretty depressed back then too uh, because of the lockdown and and I guess I impulse shopped a lot so I started to amass uh, a sum of debt 
which I I'm still trying to pay off using uh, using installments. I guess that was 2020, uh, not a good year. In 2021, I sort of summoned my spirit. I I gathered myself, and I. I, I, I said to myself during I, I, I remember clearly that during the Chinese New Year I said to myself that I'm going to change I'm going to start working super extra hard and I did I work e extremely hard uh, the entire year uh, the, in 2021 and I spent pretty much every day uh, programming until like uh, very late in the night and I gained a, a ton of weight and I ate like uh, anyway I just spent I just spent every day working there's pretty much nothing else to say I guess other than that uh, I I kept amassing that that uh, because of impulse shopping and I, I remember that I forgot to mention that uh, most of my shopping are done uh, on clothing I was really into tech wear back then so I took out a lot of installments to buy uh, a ton of things so that was 2021 after working extremely hard for a year in 2021 um, my mentor told me that my research project may not pan out so i i should start looking for another topic which actually killed my spirit and i and sent me into another uh, depression spiral and i got very very sad in 2022 um I spent the first first half of the year uh just so sulking in 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 myself just so sobbing every day and doing nothing and just trying to stay alive but I just take depression naps every day and then um out of nowhere i started to look for a job and which gave me a lot of strength and i started to pick myself up by the bootstrap i found an extremely insanely highly paying in job in crypto but i couldn't i i've never worked in private company before and the stress actually scared the shit out of me so i quit immediately after one month which was uh, probably one of the most regrettable uh, things that i have ever done uh, throwing away that much money but anyway after two months of more of job search i uh, ended up in another company that pays pretty well uh, in Xinzhu which is uh, two hours of high-speed rail away and I I started working there but it's stressing me out a lot because of the co company culture and the and the demand of the private company I have never seen before I have never experienced that kind of pressure before so I almost crumbled I started to do a lot of therapy I almost I, 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 I sometimes do two therapies per week and I started to oh I forgot some, to mention something when I quit my crypto job I attempted suicide for the first time in years and uh, that was when I started to get back on a depression meds and throughout the years in the uh, 
uh, semiconductor company. I continue to take depression meds and 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 see psychiatrist and do therapy, and I switch a uh, switched between uh, several therapists, but in the end. Uh, in the next year, I will uh, ultimately quit my job. But it was quite an experience, I would say. Um, so that was 2022. And then finally in 2023, uh, I quit my job in the, at the semiconductor company to uh, help me save myself because I was almost uh, killing myself back then. Uh, I, was, I would mo try to kill myself multiple times. Police was called, everyone was alerted. It was not a good, good time. And after quitting the job at the semiconductor company, I went to uh, work for a friend's company uh, for a, a week uh, doing doing web stuff but I decided that it wasn't for me so I went back to the Institute to work on uh, some AI because I got interested in all the development of generative AI and then uh, fast forward to today now I'm almost uh, 28 uh, by the time I post this video, I will be 28. And that was the past decade of my life.